Okay, let's get a little bit more here. All right, we have a new beginning. Some of you could be in a space where the person that you're connecting with, or even you, take it how it resonates, is waiting for a new beginning with you. Wondering, are you the one? Are you the one? Right? Are you the one? Um, someone here really guarded. I get a very guarded-like energy. So I'm waiting for someone to show me something. Yeah. Something big about clarity. And because of this full moon, we know moons illuminate right the truth it illuminates what we don't see so there's something here that you're possibly and it also could be communication something as simple as effective communication or someone here to tell you something here that means something or uh, again say something that would allow me to open up a little bit more or even trust you a little bit more so there is this patient like energy i'm being very patient with this situation i'm being patient with myself but we're waiting for a new beginning here all right. What is the overall energy for this connection? Don't lose hope. All right. So something must be working out in your favor. So if you've been waiting for someone or waiting for something, especially if it's like a new chapter, especially with this full moon, closing things out, you already did your manifestations, your your intentions have been set out. Now you're just waiting. Like now I'm waiting for a new beginning to come in and I won't lose hope at all. So there's a lot of faith in this reading. You have a lot of faith within yourself and faith within your emotions and feelings here. Um, but I do get for some of you, whether this is a past energy or a new energy, there's something very beautiful that's coming in. But I feel like in the past here, someone here has shut down or uh, there has been a shut down energy. All right. Or maybe you were connecting with someone and they decided to shut down here. They're in their head. Someone here is definitely in their head, right? It's like, I don't want you to know what I'm feeling. I don't know. I don't want you to know what I'm processing at this time. This is an energy of like, and I guess this may resonate for some of you. You know, when you're connecting with someone that doesn't really like to express emotions and you're wondering like, why do they get so quiet when things get so intense? Is It comes off as if like, I don't want you to know how much this is bothering me or this is stressing me out. I will say this again. A lot of you, you're connecting with someone here that has deep feelings for you. But their, I guess, trauma response is to go very quiet or shut down at times. There's a shut down energy. There's an energy of I don't really say much. I don't really open up. I don't really like to express or expose my emotions. All right. Let's get a little bit more. That's what I'm feeling. Like I feel like this waiting energy. What is that song? Don't have me waiting in vain. I don't feel like you're waiting in vain. I don't feel like you're in this space of like disconnecting. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. All right. Control. Try to release control. Someone here is releasing control here as well. And again, this could be your person. It's like I can't control everything, especially when it comes to my feelings. All right. I get Gemini energy. All right. Aquarius, Pisces or Virgo here could also be a Sag, but I just get this energy of I'm losing, I'm actually losing control. Like I thought I could be, you know, very tack, you know, tactful and I could manipulate situations and I could move at my own pace. But I feel like something's happening here where someone's realizing, you know, if I don't say something, do something, act on something here, I may ultimately lose this person that I've been connecting with. So spirit really wants you to wait for some sort of big tower moment, for some sort of big shift that's happening here. I don't feel like you'll be waiting for a very long time. I just feel like there's something happening in the background that you may not be able to see. You'll be so surprised of most of the things that we don't see that's happening in other people's lives. All right. And in terms of what they're thinking and how they're feeling. So let's dig and see how this person is feeling about you. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see how this person's feeling about you. How does this person feel about my viewers and how do they feel about the current situation? Let's see. How's this person feeling? We have I miss you. See, like there's something going on back there. All right, there's something definitely going on here. I miss you. I do miss you here. And again, you know, this reading resonates whenever you watch it. But as time passes here, someone here really starts to miss that that entry point, that 
that moment when they were supposed to say something, do something. They start to miss it here. Okay. But I feel like one of the things that's really causing or very challenging in this situation is that ego, this energy of holding on to that control energy. Like I don't want to fall or I don't want to be seen as this person. Like I'm big on appearances and I'm big on what people think. And, you know, I'm trying to control how much I give here. But again, someone here is losing control from what I'm getting. All right. I'm losing that grip of ego energy. All right. And how is this person feeling here? We have hurt. All right. Feeling about the situation. Someone here is feeling extremely guilty and we have messages as well. All right. And this is what I'm saying. Like when it comes to this grip that someone has had on, again, their actions or their emotions or things that they need to say or do, I feel like, again, it's like I'm, I'm losing that. Someone also feeling they're feeling like I don't have control over you as much as I used to here. I'm being told to grab a message here. Hold on. Let's get a message. I really feel like this person at times. All right. And this may resonate for some of you. Maybe in the past, this person had control with their words or because there was a lot of emotions here. Someone had a lot of control, but now they're starting to see that maybe you're releasing yourself. You're not in this space of constantly just you know, being tied up and being stuck. Okay. Like I was waiting for a new beginning, but it's like, I wouldn't give you this new beginning, but I'm still holding on to you. Okay. Could, I don't know if I said, look at this emotional intimacy. There we go. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. This is the control I'm talking about, or I've been talking about here. And it slid out very beautifully, which means that's what spirit wanted you to hear. Or wanted you to see or feel. It says, I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm working on. Something I'm not skilled at. Something I'm not good at at all. I'm not good at it. I haven't been good at it here. And I'm struggling. And I feel like someone's actions is really catching up to them. Someone's really in the space of, wait, what's going on here? right? What's going on? They were very comfortable in this energy of waiting because they thought like, all right, well, if I wait long enough, eventually things will just go in my, you know, in my favor, right? But I do feel like someone here is hurt. So something must have happened. All right. Something must have happened here where now someone here is wanting messages. They could be waiting for you to message them. They could be waiting for again, you know, or maybe someone that's watching is saying, should I message? Should I say something? Should I say something to them here? OK, that's going to be completely up to you. But I just get this energy of I just get this energy of how do I fix this? How do I fix this? How do I get back in control? something to say like someone really wants to say something someone here could have children or there could be something about children or something about a child here maybe this person's stuck in another situation or there's something about children being involved here all right doesn't have to be but again we have something to say it says there's something i really want to share with you i'm waiting for the right time to tell you here someone here could have kept something from you as well and you're starting to or maybe you found out about it all right you found out the truth about someone's lies and now you're trying you're now you're clear on why they kept you waiting for so long all right so there's something that again this full moon may be bringing out all right there's something that there's some sort of truth here that someone here may need to express to you but again and if it's not some sort of big revelation i just get that this person is in a space of wanting to communicate and wanting to say something to you that may cause a again a change here that's what that's really what i'm getting here someone here is afraid or fearful that this is ending or this is going to end or if you know if i if i become emotionally wrapped up in this connection you know you may leave me like everyone else did or something again here happened and they're afraid that you may leave if they share the truth with you here something about change this person also feels like you're changing they feel like you're evolving and they feel like you're again not you're not the same there's something very different about your energy when they feel it you know first a lot of you here Someone may, may have not believed in spirituality, but they're going to start believing in spirituality, especially once these emotions start to really kick in. 
All right. So now, as for those that have been watching my extended in the extended, I'm going to ask very detailed questions, right? Those that have been part of my extended and we go into the series of questions. So I'm going to ask questions here, especially when it comes to this message here that this person needs to share and exactly what this new beginning looks like and also what this person has to say. All right. And again, how things move forward. OK, so the extended talks about forward like energy, what you don't see coming, right, what you could expect and also how to prepare for these things as well. All right. That will be up next. The preview is up next and the link is below. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading about your specific situation, the link is below as well. I love you. Have a beautiful week. But this is someone here that's been holding back and I really feel like they can't hold back any longer. Things are becoming real, to say the least. All right. So let's see how this person truly feel about you. We have.